but I went to and I created solar DC. And then I started installing these systems. And where do you install it? First place, because everybody is dead opposed, you installed it in your office. I converted my whole office to DC. And I remember my everything was then fully DC and I was using it. Even my colleague Dr. Bhaskar Ramamurthy, we converted his room to DC. And our rooms are opposite each other, there was a corridor. And I will see my faculty colleagues, other faculty colleagues will come walk like this. They will look into my room and run away as if there is a devil sitting there. They used to look. They did not even, they do not even come inside and check. DC. One day I persuaded after one or two days for one of the colleague to come in. He came, he saw where is DC. He looked around my room. I was at, I had a television, I had lighting, fan, I was working on my laptop. After some time, he sat down. He says, this is all DC. I say, everything is DC. He says, does not look different. I said, that is what we made. Tube lights look, look the same. My laptop, I am using the same laptop. My cell phone charger is same. Television is same. I have taken the DC point out. It took some time to convince them. But you know, then a very, very interesting incident took place. Which really changed the minds of people, at least at IITs. And I started getting IIT Madras and then with the other IITs. 2016, I do not remember the, was it 15 or 16, you were there. Huh? There was a huge December, huge flood at Chennai. Suddenly, water level went up, rain, huge rain and some mistake because the chief minister was sleeping and nobody will wake up and therefore, a dam water was not removed and the Chennai started filling up. You will remember and water came to many homes above the first, up to the first floor, ground floor was all filled up, the whole place was filled. When that happened, all the power lines got distrib power distribution station, power stations, everything broke down. Everything, all the transform water will get waterlogged. Even if some transformers were a little bit higher, some part of the equipment was on the ground. Complete dark for 4 days, no power. People started using diesel generator, the place where they stored put diesel generator that was also flooded. They had some diesel generator tanks, water, they were waterlogged. So, you could not even use that, no emergency power. The cell phone towers were all powered using electricity and diesel generator, they also got flooded no communication. Four days Chennai city had no power, no communications. There was my home. I had a 125 watt very small solar panel this size DC. I was bringing it to my home from the rooftop. I had a small battery, half a kilowatt hour, a lead acid battery and was powering lights and fans in my home. And I had a electronics plug point for my cell phone and laptop. When the power fell everywhere, of course, first my home had power first few hours home will be have power, but my power remained. I of course, knew that since there is no power by now we know knew what is happening. I kind of preserved and 
minimize, I was alone at my home, minimize the power consumption, I'll turn on only one light and one fan. Huh? And when I go for the kitchen, I'll turn the kitchen light and maybe turn off this light, sometimes two lights, lights are not that much. I was charging my cell phone, cell phone does not work except if I go to the rooftop of my building, I can get a tower which is far away. So, I could make even phone calls. Of course, others also did that except their cell phones stopped working after some time. My cell phone will go back, charge, some of the neighbors came and I charged their cell phone also and they will go and even make calls. I thought, I was very worried, it happened around 4 pm one day, that evening, night it continued, next day power was there in my home everywhere. By now, I know there is nowhere else there is a power. I thought it will last for few more hours, maybe it will go away. But fortunately, it lasted that day. I was certain the next day I will not get power. And by now, we knew the power will not be restored for another couple of days. Fortunately, the sunlight came out. My next second day afternoon, evening, afternoon around 4 o'clock, the sunlight was there after 24 hours. As soon as the sunlight came up, my bat, my solar panel was working, my battery started charging. Remember that I told you it is the most robust power and next day it was a full sunlight and I had plenty of power. Fourth day, I invited lots of friends to my home, say we will cook together and eat and we did that third day, left for third day. And power was there, we enjoyed while rest of the people were not, everybody was charging their cell phone. We used to go to the rooftop and get meantime one or two cell towers were restored. So, we knew where to stand to get connected. I'm, I downloaded all my mails. I will take my laptop, I had cell phone through that I could download. It was just starting to get, it was still 2G, it was still not 4G, huh? probably just about coming 3G maybe. So, what? That experience sort of said how robust it will be. Unfortunately, very unfortunately, even after telling all these stories and all things, government does not move. The officers start saying again the same thing as my colleague said, are you taking the country backward? This is I will try to produce as I said solar panel, 230 volt AC, 230 volt grid. Typical inverter has a 97 percent efficiency. So, but if solar panel is 200 watt, the losses can be 15 percent. That is the point that I was making. So, if I take solar, I do a DC to AC conversion, there is a 15 percent loss, then I put it into the battery again AC to DC converter, 15 percent loss, DC to AC another 15 percent loss, you got 45 percent loss. And that is the time I came up with this concept called solar DC. I said grid power when it is available, I will convert it to DC. Everything will remain DC. 48 volt DC, why 48 volt? What is the highest safe voltage? Hmm? I do not need too much safety thing and that is what I did. My loss became 7 percent in this conversion and I could design everything such that I could get very, very good load. The most interesting thing is directly power DC load. So, both grid and can be full, even when there is a load shedding, battery powers load and solar delivered uh, with such high this thing. I found that the AC fans instead of 72 watts was running at 30 watts. At speed 1, it was still running at six, consuming 60 watts this consumes only 9 watts. Lights were consuming from 36 to 15 and of course, there was no set tube light at DC, here it consumes only 4 watts at lowest intensity. And I started powering this, why is 48 volt chosen? Safe voltage, highest safe voltage, you do not need any protection. Lower voltage will give rise to low, more current and more current means higher I square R losses. Same argument that was the earlier I talked about, you want highest possible safe voltage. So, 48 volt chosen, even this, there was no consensus in the country. We, we created a committee at 
Department of Science and Technology with five IIT directors on the committee. They said that 48 volt is the best. MNRE refused. Ministry of New Renewable Energy. They will not accept this. They wanted 12 volts. Why? Because Chinese implements were coming at 12 volts. And all these lobbying companies were importing things, they have enough influence with both the ministers and the officials and they will treat us roughly. But we made the system 125 watt solar panel and this is a system which will go and power a small home and everything was there. Initially it was a lead acid battery, later on we converted it into a lithium ion battery. Piyush Goel was became minister of power, he is a good friend of mine. Earlier we were on State Bank of India both together. So, I contacted him. I went and met him. He was somewhat convinced. I somehow persuaded him to come and visit. By now lots of homes at IIT Madras were powered using solar DC. And there were demo rooms etcetera everything with solar DC. I took him there. He had brought his officers. He says what see all this? What do you say? He says no, 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 but this will take country backward. He himself even being minister could not overrule them. Even PMO was not convinced that DC is the way to go. He then called a meeting in Delhi and then said, okay, I will accept that AC is the way to go, DC is bad. But tell me, in this Rajasthan desert, where there is a sand, you are not able to take any power? So, no, very difficult to take. Very, all homes are scattered, very difficult, costs are very high. We are not powering that. There are 5000 homes or more. He asked me, what if I asked Junior to power those 5000 homes with solar DC? They are somewhat reluctant, we are going be a backward in technology. But anyway, we have no plan to do power that, go ahead and give. That was the first break that I was given to actually power and we created LEDs, remote control, cell phone charger, LED tube light, all of this we created, desert cooler, the televisions, mixer, grinder, refrigerator stuff. And then we went to Rajasthan to desert areas where you could not go take things except on camels or you can walk. There are some tractors which could go, tractors with those heavy wheels. And we started connecting these 4000 homes and then we found the same situation exist in Assam Hills, Meghalaya, Manipur and Jammu and Kashmir and Ladakh. Over the next three years, one by one, I was asked to power homes in these area, 60,000 homes under the Prime Minister's Yojana we actually powered. The ministry is still not convinced. They still believe in AC. We wanted DC tra uh, to become the optional, but we actually did powering schools, individual homes. There are places where people saw power for the first time. Villages, now I can give students my homework. School suddenly had power. This was a school that we powered. We powered homes. The people who could work in the, suddenly do work in the evening. This is what happened. This could have been the biggest story for India, but the Indian politics and bureaucrats I think in this case scientists finally got onto my side, took time. There are few people still who are sold. The Chinese imports of lower voltage is what is the way to go. And solar DC, this is actually the home that we have created in our research park. It saves power, it saves. My home still has DC power, hmm. but 
it saved significantly the power, but for India overall was not convinced. In the meantime, of course, you have a lower uh, losses converter, Paul Electronics has helped us get there and the battle of AC versus DC is still not won. It should have been, India should have been the leader. Electric vehicles all DC powered. India was not able to win the DC battle because we refused to win. I went to the Prime Minister, I went to everybody. They are not willing to go against the world. Has anyone else in the world is doing it? There are IEEE forums around the world now which is for DC. Believe that DC is the way to forward. But you know, everybody else has connected everything using AC. They do not have to do fresh connection. They will wait till that those things go die down and maybe DC may come then. Hmm? What Tesla tries to do at homes is through the battery with DC. But overall, we should have been the leader. By now, we should have taken DC all over the world. We refuse to do this. Thank you. And I think with this, I will end and hopefully you have learned. There are of course, a couple of more lectures. Solve your problems. Exams will be very similar to what assignment problems that you do. And so, if you do all your assignments well, you should have no problem in writing the exam. We will have one more interaction in the first week of October. Exam is the second half of October. So, we will have in first week of October, we will send you a link and we will have interaction. Thank you very much.